Atlas going solar in a big way. Try to bring this solar battery with you and you'll need a big rig. And can you break a Tesla? Say it ain't so! And more on this week's Green Tech Weekly! Welcome back to another Tech Field show. This is show number 25. Let's get into this week's tech news. Apple is a well-loved company, but as we all know, they have some skeletons in their closet. And I don't mean Steve Jobs either. Oh. What? Too soon? Yes, enjoy. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Dar's getting pretty full. Do you hear something? Mm. Sorry for the joke. Apple has not always been the best of green and sustainable companies, but it looks like they're trying to change their image. They recently announced that they're going to add the world's largest privately owned solar array at their North Carolina iData Center. They haven't said when the big solar will be installed yet though. Big solar! But they did say they were also going to add a 5 megawatt biogas fuel cell facility directly next to the data center to provide more than 40 million kilowatt hours of renewable energy annually. Apple also boasted that this will be the largest non-utility fuel cell installation in the U.S. So it's going to build the world's largest private solar array mm -hmm. and the world's largest biogas generator facility. Yep. So what they're really saying is, take that, Google! <laughs> yep. A few weeks ago in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hey, I went to school there at NAU. Go Jacks! Okay. Right. Well, it became the test bed for a new 1.5 megawatt solar battery storage unit. The battery is the size of a shipping container and is the equivalent to 300,000 cell phone batteries. Hey, it's made of lithium ion batteries by Electrovia Inc. The two year test will store energy when the cost is lower and then distribute it when it is high. The idea behind the project is to store energy for peak times and around Flagstaff, that's at 5 and 9 p.m. This is when the people get home from work and turn everything on. But the issue is the solar arrays aren't working at this time. So that's one of the batteries useful. This will be tested over the next two years in the hopes that they can make this work anywhere they can add solar. I wonder if I can get one of these for my house. Hmm. In our third story, the EPA recently tested the Ford Focus Electric. Did it pass? <laughs> well, if you mean did the results turn out good, then yes, it passed. So good, in fact, that they found in the it is America's most fuel efficient five seater car. The all electric gets 105 miles to the electric equivalent to a gallon of gas. This is actually better than the 100 electric equivalent that Ford states about the car. Nico, I think this is better than your car. I know. This newfound knowledge led Ford to make mention of its rival, the Nissan Leaf, nine times in their press release, showing that even a big corporation can act like a second grader. My car is better than your car, meaner. No, uh -huh. Speaking of electric cars, Tesla is in the news recently, and it's not good news either. Owners of the $100,000 plus dollar car have recently found that it can be bricked if left unplugged for a long period of time. Let me check my notes. Yep, that's here, that's not good. <laughs> right. The car's subsystem is running all the time and acts like a parasite. So, if the $40,000 battery is drained all the way... Let me guess, it's dead. Yep, and not able to be saved. Worst of all, the bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty does not cover owner negligence, which is what they call not plugging in, letting it sit for long periods of time, or not charging after a long drive. That stinks. I mean, come on people, you own one of the coolest electric cars in the world and you forget to plug it in? I bet you remember to plug in your iPhone. And shame on Tesla for not stepping up and making sure that they don't give themselves a bad name. It's a lose-lose situation. Stop the presses! <sighs> this isn't a newspaper, it's a web show. What's the newspaper? Oh, right. Well, anyway, uh, it seems that the Fisker Karma has the same problem even though they use a battery with a different composition. Which brings us to our tip of the day. Plug in your car! And in our last story, we might have something that could help with the electric car issues. 
The rinse feed dock and goes the first of its kind bolt on extended battery. It also adds cargo space to your tiny city car. The concept car half is based on the smart car and for the bolt on part consumers will have their choice of two versions. One is a power module and the other is a cargo add on. It looks like a backpack for your smart. No, I was going to say a car Dacian. <laughs> At only two feet though, it's not like you can carry home a few sheets of plywood or foam sheets like in Scott Scion. That's one handsome man. <laughs> the energy pack has batteries but could also have a fuel cell to ex help extend the range. When not bolted on the car, the module can be used as a battery backup for your home in case of emergencies. They don't say how much the 287 pound add-on will increase your range, but they do say the car will be able to do 82 miles per hour before and 132 miles per hour with. Thanks for watching another show. Hit the like button wherever it is. Don't forget to follow us all the usual ways. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Rethink it green. I'm gonna get you can. I'm gonna get you can. I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it.